Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, let's stop playing. We're going to go ahead and come in <laughs> with y'all for this week's um, Your Honor. Listen, we're going to go ahead and apologize. Listen, this week has been a week. This Blame week, it on the shoot belt. Yeah, so we're just like a day behind on everything. So yeah. that's why you're going to get this review a little bit behind. But this review shouldn't take long. Shouldn't. Because really, didn't a lot happen? A lot of character nah. development, a lot of development came because we know that next this week. Setting up for the finale, man. Yeah, so, and from what we've been reading and what we've been hearing, they're not, there's nothing slated to have a season two of this show, which sucks. Yeah. But we just never know. It's COVID. You don't know if you can film or not film. So stuff could be happening in the background. They just haven't, you know, brought it out to the forefront. So let's go ahead and get into what had happened on this week's episode, which was hmm. part nine. Okay. What I am going to say is I'm about so sick and tired of Carlo Basta and his hitter rolling up on Judge Michael in public as if somebody is not going to put two and two together. Right. That why are you keep meeting up with this man in broad daylight when he is the judge presiding okay. over your son's case. Exactly. Like, nobody's going to see that as suspicious or no one's going to see that maybe you have a, have a little knife in his back mm -hmm. and you're turning it to make things him. go yep. your way. I mean, and that's exactly what's going on. But on this week's episode, we saw that, remember we talked about old teaching bay last week where I breezed over it real quick. That's because whenever we breeze over something, we know that it's going to come up. And yes. we're going to have to talk about it in detail that next week. Well, <laughs> Teacher Bay, see, she reeling her feelings because now Adam has taken up company with um, the Baxter daughter and really seems to be falling in like. Love. In like. In like. With her. <laughs> and Now, he love her. He does. Yeah. He does. But Tisha Bay is like, hold on, wait a minute. So what you're not going to do is share with me that you were the one that killed old Rocco and then just, just push me to the side as if I don't have enough information to take you down. But she really can't. She can she, and she can't. She's a freaking and here's, pedophile, man. And here's the thing. <laughs> so she rolls up on Adam and old girl, because they were just having like lunch or something like that in a cafe or whatnot, rolled up on them and made her presence known, had Adam over there almost like a Because I actually thought she was going to read it. I was like, you can't read that. I mean, because Adam can't hide his facial expression. When something is messed up, Adam can't hide it. No. So it was all in his face that... I'm being I'm, busted I'm, right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm messing with her. Yeah, yeah, but I'm here with you. Exactly. But she ain't read it though. But. Didn't read it. Out. Home girl don't stepped on her shoe and everything. I'm like, see, this is when, <laughs> this when you get your face smacked real good. So later on, we realized that um, oh Charlie, is the name Charlie? The black guy. The yeah, black guy man, that's, Charlie. Yeah, that's best friends with Judge Michael. All this time, he never realized that. Adam was the one who was driving the car yeah. that actually hit and killed Rocco. So now that he's found out this information, one, now he has to do damage control, but two, he's also like, huh? So my best friend lied to me, mm -hmm. got me to to make to sure help you to cover help up a murder, man. Get this car taken yep. care of, and the whole time my godson was the one who did, did it. Did it? Yep. But. <laughs> He, he going to put that on the back burner, too, so we know that that's going to happen on next week. Something with that is going to happen. Yep. But Charlie went and had a meeting with old Teacher Bay to tell Teacher Bay, listen, I already know that you've been sleeping with my godson. I already know how things are, and I know what you know. But what you can't do, you can't tell nobody. Because guess what? You'll never work in this town again. Nope. And how many Career will be gone. How many years is it going to take for you to... Oh, you're going to be under the jail. And then when you're not under the jail, you're going to be registered as a sex offender. Yeah. So pretty much, you need to shut the buck up. Yeah. And about I, what you know. <laughs> and, and all you can be saved if you stop today. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go backwards a little bit. And let's talk about Carlo Baxter's best friend. Friend, which I can't remember his name at this very moment. Don't put it down in the comments because I know it. I just can't think. Joey. <laughs> Joey, yeah. Joey. <laughs> so, Joey. And here's where the timeline got a little blurred for me because 
Joey seems to be, had been on the run for a few months. Yeah, like three months, two months, something like that. And I'm like, like Whoa. when? <laughs> like, when did this happen? But we see him back at that crack house, right? And he looks bad now. So we know that the last time he was with Carlos, he had that fentanyl patch on him. Mm -hmm. so I don't know if that fentanyl patch was, was his downfall or was he already just doing stuff and now he... I don't know. Yeah. But he's at the drug house and we hear a knock on the door and he immediately just started running and he tried to make a mad dash and go out the window on the top on the second floor and broke his ankle. Broke yeah. his leg. Only drugs can tell you that you can jump out a window <laughs> and land on your feet like they like do in the movies. Like they like do in the movies. <laughs> so he ended up getting away and then he ends up and I'm like, how did we get from that? To where he's sitting in front of Nancy, the detective Nancy, and a whole bunch of people. Yeah. And he's ready to rat out the entire organization of the Baxters. Like, he was like, I can't live like this no more. I need to tell what I need to tell. And I need you to give me full immunity because what I know is heavy. Oh, was it really the cops that knocked on the door? I don't think it was the cops that knocked it on the door. Had, it must have had to have been the Baxters, yeah, because it was everything happened so fast. It yeah. was happening, and I refused yeah. to rewind it. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, that was the cops. Why you just go with the cops? Yeah. So now Judge Michael has a decision to make because now Nancy and the prosecutor has come to him and was like, listen, we have a star witness, and he needs to testify, like, right yeah. now. Like, he's in his Yeah, he's the nail in the coffin, bro. And Judge Michael was like, you know, he's trying to figure out a way not to make this happen because he knows that this is the nail in the coffin. Yep. So he went, he went ahead and said, you know what, we're going to go into recess. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure that he gets on the stand. But before he was able to put him on the stand, he kind of briefed him a little bit. Was like, I know you're nervous. Let me go ahead and... um." give you my shoes because you look a little raggedy right now. Let me go. <laughs> and he was like, you know, what you do is whenever you get nervous, you need to take a sip of water, gather yourself, take your time. But whenever you feel like you can't go on, take you a sip of water. And I said, I got to give it to judge Michael, man. He, I, every episode, he knows how to bullshit his way out of anything or bullshit his way Into or, get, or get somebody to do something that he want them to do. Well, this Judge Michael, <laughs> Judge Michael, Judge Michael, Judge Michael had went home. Judge Michael had went home and got the dog's medicine and crushed up the medicine, poured it into the water jug so that when old boy was taking sips of water, he was really taking the dog's medication, which eventually was going to kick in and make it so that he was going to be so impaired that he yeah. wasn't going to be able to testify. So eventually they did get him on the stand and that happened. Yep. Every sip that he took, he started sweating. He started in and I thought he was gonna be able to get out the, it, all, yeah, get all the, out what he needed to get out. He went into too much backstory. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he, he like, went into too much backstory. I they thought had he was nice just, Tupperware. And yeah, it, they had labels on it, so you know what it was. And so long story short, he ended up having a medical emergency on it on the bench. And they had to end up calling the ambulance, which made it everything that he said None thrown out. Yep. He wasn't even here. We don't know him. Jury, you've never seen him or heard him. I'm like, Judge Michael, that's cool and everything, but you can't unhear what you've already heard. Yeah. So now we, we, we don't have him as a witness, but the entire time, Nancy is over there peeping. Yeah, he's she see it. Yeah. Master, she got something over the judge and yep. everything that the judge is doing is in I said Nancy's going to be Yeah because one. he cuz he was a little over the top when he was saying to, to forget everything, everything. nothing he and he's that, over there joy never existed I was like why is you yeah you just put you, you, yeah you putting too much on it player so Nancy actually caught Carlo Baxter outside of the courthouse and she, she rolled a thug. up she a thug boy she rolled up on him and said I'm going to need you to leave Judge Michael and Adam alone. alone. And he was like, Adam? Because, you know, he doesn't know about Adam. Yep. But he's heard the name Adam from who? His daughter. Yep. Because when he asked his daughter, say, who is this that has a smile on your face? And she was like, Adam. Say, like, Adam has a last name. She was like, I don't know too much about him, but I really like him. 
So now Baxter is starting to put two and two together that Adam, 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 Michael. Yeah. Adam, my daughter. Yeah. What in the mother buck is going, going on, on here? <laughs> so we see back at the house, the mama don't set up this meeting with a priest for the daughter because the daughter <laughs> was like, she ain't for this foolishness. She ain't about the Bible that sacrificed kids. That if <laughs> she was like, would you sacrifice well, me? Mom, dad, would you sacrifice me? And that's that, a really good question, though. It is a good question. That's a really good question. Well, long story short, they ended up with they want to meet Adam and have him come over for dinner. And I bet you the dummy is going to go. Oh, remember he was leaving out the house. Oh, that's right. Daddy. That's right. That's right. He sure was. Judge Michael came um, came home and Adam is on the way out the door because guess what? He going over there to the Baxter's house to have dinner. I'm like, your daddy is trying to keep you out of handcuffs. And you going and over you there going, to the lion's den. Yeah, you going right... Uh, right over to the uh, lines there. And we still have not seen this inhaler come up yet. So when he over there at the Baxter's house all nervous and skit, is he going to pull out I, that? I, I, I'm going a, I'm to a say this. And uh, no offense to, you know, our Caucasian family. We love y'all. But y'all a whole lot different than us black folk. <laughs> yeah. Us black folk would have never, ever went to the house oh, no. of the person that we no. murdered. Oh, we, no. No. Matter of fact, we wouldn't have still been in New Orleans. Matter of fact, we would have been in, in Jamaica or Aruba or somewhere. Our name would have been changed. We would have got a new license, cut our hell, whatever we had to do. Yeah, not, to, not to pick up that murder child, but y'all. Hello. <laughs> y'all just like to go right into the danger. I, I don't understand, yeah. man. And then we had a lot of scenes with like, well, not a lot. A few scenes with like Big Mo, um, Lil Mo, all them people. That really ain't, that ain't going to really make, or break this review because really didn't nothing happen other than the fact that old little boy that lost his his mom and his siblings in that house don't told them that y'all need to start cleaning y'all money through the church. Yeah, y'all need to start a bank. I said you got that from I power. You watch power, yeah. <laughs> so now he's gonna be somebody that's gonna give them different ideas of how to legitly clean their money. But in the midst of him talking to them. He, they are leaking out little information that's making some things go together. And don't don't forget, he's also been talking to Michael's friend. I can't think of her name right now. The lawyer, yeah, light skinned lady. Yeah, and she's kind of she doesn't have all of the information, so she's telling him like, you know, your brother. No, he was taking his GED at the it's same tough. time that that boy was was run over by the car. So it definitely wasn't him. So maybe the people you rolling with set your brother up to take the fall for somebody else. And I'm like, uh-uh, that ain't what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you need to stop talking because then your little side piece about to be, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All that about to be taken down. But the but but the little boy was kind of like, maybe they did get me. Yeah, but, he did. But you remember a little Mo confronting him about the other guy letting him know that pretty much he got his brother killed. So... I, yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, it wasn't a lot to happen this week. It was more of um, a setup for what's going to happen on next week. So, we got Teacher Bay mad. Yep. We got Uncle Charlie that went over there and then pretty much was like, <laughs> oh, oh, don't say nothing. Oh, 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 Uncle Charlie finna go and cuss Michael out. I know I would. Yeah. So, we still got that on the hook. He going to cuss Michael he out. He going to cuss him out. Oh, and yeah. don't forget, mother-in-law. Now she has a little inkling of what's going down. Yeah, but wait, but well. wait, wait. We almost forgot one of the most important pieces, man. The mama was going down to the ninth ward cheating. Cheating in the ninth Getting district. hotels and everything. Like, what? I thought she was going in there taking pictures. Was you down there taking pictures or were you taking pictures, man? No, she was going down there getting the eye full. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Judge Michael said, I know she was cheating, but I ain't want to say nothing that. because of Adam. Hell, that's where Adam getting his whole way. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Straight from the VA. <laughs> dirty, dirty sounds. Two up, two down. Holla. 